You know, we've heard about late night school board meetings, city council meetings, but South Lyon ended theirs at 2.35 a.m. this morning, even though it was a Zoom call. And so that'll give you a window into the emotional level that is deciding whether to send kids back to school in a couple of weeks. Another day closer to the start of school and another hard decision to make on a Zoom call. I implore you not to gamble with anyone's health. You will undoubtedly be met with some resistance, but the right choice is often, in fact, usually, the most difficult to make. The meeting started last night. South Lyon Community School Board heard from scores of parents, the majority favoring, sometimes even begging members to start the year with children learning remotely. Ms. Ash, Ms. Forsyth, Ms. Cook. This teacher tearfully read the names of fellow teachers. Parent Carrie Bristol weighed in as well. All children have different needs and learn different things. That contrasts with the gathering a few hours earlier. About 60 parents and students peacefully protested in the heart of downtown South Lyon, advocating a return to the classroom. They gave us a choice three weeks ago for an online or an in-person. It was a fabulous plan. I was commending them for all the hard work, and then they took it off the table, and then it went to only online. And now it's online with no end date. These parents, including a nurse, want an option for kids to return or learn at home. In the end, the board decided online learning, at least to start the school year, was the right answer. Over in Utica, one of the state's largest school districts just approved plans for a hybrid learning program, a remote classroom option with the ability to transition to in-person and fully online virtual academy. Classroom teachers will provide remote learning through at least October 30th. The district will then evaluate and consider a gradual return for small groups of students. And there are other school districts still to make this decision. One's coming tonight in Plymouth Canton. Rod Maloney, Local 4.